let me show you how to morph or merge or create a video in a in a shape. Let's show you how to do it. First thing to do is get your bit of media. So I've already got a bit of media there. If you don't know how to get some media, just, just find a file and, um, and just drag and drop it. But I have my media. I am prepared. And I'll put the media on the timeline. So there we go. That is my media. That is me moving my arms around a lot. Let me show you what to do with it. I'm going to make this smaller now. Make sure we've got the arrow button there. I'm just going to make it smaller. So we want it to be about that size. The next thing to do is to go to annotations and then we have shapes. So make sure you've chosen shapes and uh, pick whatever style you want. It doesn't really matter, but I'll use all and I'm going to do a circle. It doesn't have to be a circle though. It could be any shape. Let's do a circle. So I'll put a circle in there. Now that is not a circle. That is a yeah, it's a flat circle. So let's turn it into a proper circle. Now you can manually do it by just changing it and then guessing if it's right. But the best way to do it is to click on it and then make sure you're in properties. So make sure you've got properties open. And then go to this icon here. It says visual properties. It looks like a film strip. So click on that and make sure the width and the height are the same because it is a circle. So there we go. 334, 334. Now the next step is to put the circle over the image that you want to morph it in with, or I should say the, the video clip. So we've got the circle, I'm gonna put it over my video clip. Then what you need to do is go to a visual effects and go to media mat. So this one here, media mat, and then drag and drop it onto there. And you can see it's now changed it. Now mine wasn't perfect because my circle was slightly bigger than the media clip. So I'm just gonna edit and I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna make my circle a bit smaller just to get it absolutely perfect. So there it goes, within the box. Let's make sure the uh, the height and the width are the same. So we've got three, two, five. Um, change that to three, two, five. There we go. So they're exactly the same. Let's do it once more time. Media mat, there we go, drag and drop. Now, if you try and move it around, it's gonna, it looks like James Bond, doesn't it? So if you try and move it around, it disappears. What you need to do, a couple of things. Down the bottom here in the timeline, you need to stretch that out so it goes to the same length as your video clip. Also, by pressing shift and clicking on both of them, and then right clicking, you can group them together. So we group them together, and now I can move it to wherever I want on the screen. It does not matter. The next step I'd recommend you doing is whilst you've got that clicked on, go to the cropping tool up here. So click on crop and then crop in the edges so it fits nicely. And then you can move it right into the corner. Now to show you this working properly, let's find another media clip. Uh, I'm just going to open up this file here. So put that media clip in there. So we've got this clip here, which is just again me talking. What I'll do that, I'll swap them over. So we've got that there. And then you can see the bottom right hand corner is me down there. So if I move this along, you can see that they're both moving. Now obviously this doesn't have to be a clip of me, it can be a clip of anything you've recorded. You know, so you creating a video on how to use Camtasia as an example. So you do that. That's how you do it in the most simplistic form. It works very well. But I said earlier on that it does not have to be you know, a circle. It can be any shape. So let me show you how to do that. Using this piece of media, I'll move the media in there. I'll, um, whoops, done it wrong again. What I need to make sure I do is click on the arrow so I can change the size of it because I was trying to crop it again. I don't want to crop it. Let's move it down to like that. And then, so I've got that one there. In fact, let's just move it along. Let's go over there. So a nice clean bit of media to work with. So there's my media. And then I'm going to go to, where were they? Annotations, we've got shapes, and let's do it in the form of a star. There we go, we've got a star. So let's make the star, same size as the box. There you go, perfect. Again, a bit fat, thin it out. You can use the, um, the parameters on here for the width and the height if you want to make changes to it, but I've got that. So we have a star with my face behind it. Now, this is not going to be perfect, far from it, but I'll show you how to do it once again. So, visual effects, media mat, drag and drop. There we go. 
I'm in a star. Same principle. That's a terrible image of me, by the way. Terrible uh, image, but I'll use it nonetheless. Click on both of them, right click, group. Now I've got my star, I can move it about. So if I really wanted to, I could have them both on the go at the same time. So I can have a star over here, that image over there, and that is how you do that. But it doesn't have to be a star, it could be any shape that you want. So you can have nice diagonals on the go, you can have squares, you know, you, you name it, you can have whatever you want. So anything from this list or more. Anyway, hopefully you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll keep giving you top tech tips.